What's up guys, this is Shambles11 and welcome to Real Farm on the good old Xbox One. Okay, so Real Farm came out a little while ago, uh, but has recently been made available to me by the good folks at Sodesco. Uh, the reason being is that there was some recent DLC available. Now, the DLC is uh, a potato crop which is available to use. Uh, on top of that, we also have a new farm, a new world that we can go and visit. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've had this code for a little while. And as always with my reviews, I desperately wanted to play the game, get quite far in the game, give you a full review. So why haven't I? Well, <laughs> quite frankly, this game is enormous. And as you can see from this plowing job, it takes a very, very long time. Now, the game works. In fact, it works incredibly well. I, I've never played a farming game before, uh, and no, I don't go up and down. I find it quicker and more efficient if I just go around in loops. Uh, so I can't really complain. Basically, we start off as this little fella here who is a farmhand. Yes, I've missed the corner. And the guy who we start off, who guides us through the tutorial, who teaches us all about the different tractors and the different rigs, basically wants to retire. And he wants us to take over the farm. Fair enough. But he's not just going to give us the farm. We need to give him $350,000. And as you can see in the top right, I currently have 19,000. Now, most jobs that are available in this quite large town area, as you can see, will give you somewhere between two and occasionally $6,000, depending on how much work is involved and what you need to do. Uh, there are various different farms we can go to, uh, located all around the town, and they will give us different jobs. There are also various other things we can do. We can go to the traders to uh, buy and sell goods, uh, we can top up on our gas if we want. We can get extra supplies. Um, but all of these things are available once we buy this central farm here. So why haven't I shown you this? Why aren't I bombing along? Well, I am one day 14 hours into this game. That's playtime. That's... 24 hours plus an extra 14 hours. That's 38 hours of gameplay that will complete the majority of games that are available and I have barely scratched the surface now admittedly in this career mode I have made a couple of mistakes I purchased items early rather than rent them because I thought I'd be playing the long game and in the long run everyone knows renting is a mugs game I have various things um, this is my tractor this is my plow Here's my truck. You start off with this truck and you can switch between any of them on the D-pad, quite simply. Um, you can also, if you get rather stuck and don't know what to do, you can move your vehicles and have them reset. Uh, resetting the equipment, if you press the right button, resetting the item uh, it is quite simple. And there we go, it's been reset to the parking lot and this is where we buy stuff. See, see that great big giant thing here? Yes, I bought this thinking it would be a good investment. Uh, what it's done is it's slowed me down immensely. We can, of course, get out and walk around on foot. Guys, I know I should be playing a field, but I've got 43 minutes to do it, and I will not fail. Uh, we can open the dealership, and you can see all the insane things that we can purchase. Absolutely everything. I don't know what a forest, forage harvester header is. I don't know what a tedder is. I think I know what a mower is. Manure spreaders, harvesters, uh, and, and there's not just one of them. There are many, and they all have different things. They can be rented for different amounts. They all have different powers. Now, why is power important? Well, for starters, sometimes you get stuck on hills. <laughs> yes, it really does happen. But secondly, pulling stuff along requires power. Um, you can see what is needed. 100 horsepower, 300 horsepower. That is what is required to pull this thing. So, as you can see, that was the one I bought. And I stupidly bought a weak ass tractor, which I then had to go and get an enormous tractor to pull it. 
waste of money, waste of money, waste of money. Now, you can sell your stuff back. That's absolutely no problem at all. But, you know, I thought I will carry on. Um, and, guys, while we're here and while we're looking around, I have to say, it's, it's a pretty good-looking area. I mean, it's Xbox One X Enhanced. How X Enhanced it is, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it runs at 60 frames per second, and it's all very smooth. Now, we are clearly meant to just drive around in these nice roads. Uh, the town is sparsely populated, there's not exactly much in that dealership. There is the odd car, and they are immensely good at being aware of where you are and will stop in plenty of time. So it's pretty hard to crash into things. Uh, if you do crash into stuff, you will stop immediately with no sound effects. Um, fair enough. Uh, also, if you're hitching something on the back of your tractor, they will get wrapped around these posts quite easily. Uh, I have got to admit, I've tried to crash the game. And if you try to crash the game, you will crash the game. You will find areas that you clearly shouldn't be allowed in. I tried to launch myself over a hill uh, across the river and it ended up with my van getting completely stuck very easily. Uh, as you can see, I've hit an invisible wall. It, it, it's all pretty simple to do with that tree glitching out in the background. Um, generally not a problem. I didn't realise you could reset vehicles. So there we go. I've given you a top tip. Uh, what does go absolutely haywire sometimes is the camera mode. There are a few, uh, but sometimes when you're getting into them, it gives you just the closest camera view you can ever imagine and you can't see a thing. For some reason, all the windscreens are green tinted. Everything looks very green. Uh, but as you saw when I was mucking around earlier with the buttons, you can activate all types of things. We can just turn the engine off if we want, we can turn it on, we can put indicators on, we can put our working lights on, our headlamps on, our hazards on, uh, our roof beacon. You can have a combination of all these things, you can have nothing on. It is quite remarkable, when I finish pressing all the buttons, how much we can do, and also how completely not a straight line that now is. Um, again, likewise, all we have to do is hold, that was on RB, on LB, we'll control whatever's attached. This one's quite simple, it's just raise and lower. Um, we can also attach and unattach, which it... <laughs> which is relatively easy to do and generally doesn't do that but thankfully we'll glitch back I've quite enjoyed coming onto this and just chilling out which I know sounds really weird and time does whiz by generally what I do is I have my iPad or laptop and I chuck Netflix on something in the background maybe a podcast maybe just some music and I just drive around and it whiles away the time and it, it, it's kind of quite satisfying strangely um, while I just drive off over here I, I, I can't really explain it but I, I now I'll be honest with you I, I do get it I do understand why people like these farming games and like I say this one works perfectly fine I just wish that I could show you more stuff. I wish I could show you this place in full operation. I wish that I could you know, go up to this checkpoint and do the whole silos thing because there are all sorts of things we can do. We, uh, You can see the mission I'm doing now. This will give me $1,965, but my main mission is to earn $350,000. It's going to take me a long time. We can have a look at all of this. You can see what I've spent and you know, what's come in, so uh, it's not the greatest thing I've done but here are the markets we can buy and sell goods um, we can have workers and we can have livestock but unfortunately all of that requires me to buy the freaking farm and if I could buy the farm I would then show you cool things like what exactly this does but unfortunately I can't even speculate because I just don't know I haven't got there but if you've got a lot of spare time Oh, and this is quite cool as well. The place does grow around you whilst whilst you're doing your thing, uh, which is quite a nice little little thing, really. You know, you can. Okay, so m maybe the crops go through the underside. Of the tree. <laughs> it's not the most polished game, and uh, the worrying thing is this is thirty four ninety nine, which isn't exactly cheap. 
you know, they are asking you to spend a fair bit of money for a game that essentially is the same sort of thing over and over because even if we're not ploughing fields, even if we're sowing or we're tilling or you know we're harvesting crops, it is essentially always doing the same thing. We are always going up and down and round and round a field. There is another map available for £8.99. Uh, it's going to be about the same amount of money. <laughs> There's one I harvested earlier. Uh, for $8.99, you indeed can get another map. Now, is it worth it? I'm not so sure. I mean, it's basically a continuation of what we've got. So if you've got to the stage where you feel like you've completed this and you've done all you can, then, yeah, by all means, go and, you know, grab another area uh, with more jobs. The jobs are quite simple. You just drive up, there's a board, it tells you what you can and can't do, and you just accept what you can do. Um, it's all pretty easy. Uh, I still have 35 minutes to plow this field, so there's still plenty of time. But this is, for example, one of the farms we can work in. There is the board. Uh, you would normally, I can't do it because I'm in a job, uh, there is a sprint button as well, would you believe? You would just click on that, it would give you the list of jobs and away you go. Now, some you are given the things you need, the vehicles you need. Others, uh, like this one, this is my tractor and this is my plow. Uh, and generally, they normally give you a little bit of extra money, but a plowing job is the absolute basic bare minimum, so I'm earning the basic bare minimum. Guys, I wish I could show you some more exciting footage, but it's a farm simulator game, okay? I, I don't know what you're expecting to see. You won't see anything much more exciting than this. A weird one. I mean... <sighs> if you like farm games, I cannot see a reason why you wouldn't like this. It, it, it works really well. It has a certain charm. You can't help but get into the country music, but there are these huge, great big spaces like now when there's no music at all. Also, how badly am I ploughing this field? I mean, if you thought OCD, I, I would really like to apologise for... <laughs> Check out that corner. Uh, there are these tears as well. I've noticed happen quite a bit, where no matter what you do, it just won't plough. Uh, or, or, or grow the crop, or whatever it is we're doing. If you like this kind of game, I cannot see a reason why you won't like this game. Uh, if you're intrigued, then I... I and you're desperate to try a farm game, I, I can't see why you wouldn't want to try this one. Um, it, it, it ticks all the boxes, it does everything, it looks pretty nice, it works absolutely fine, um, but it is very long-winded. I mean, you can see how slowly this completion bar is going up. Now, there is also a sleep rest mechanic uh, which doesn't tie in with anything. Uh, my first day I worked basically 37 hours before I needed to sleep. I slept six hours and was fully recuperated. Uh, I don't know about you guys but I can't work like that. Also up in the top here we can see uh, various different orange green symbols. None of those are explained to you at any point uh, but quite frankly whilst we're doing these jobs it doesn't matter, so I haven't really learnt them. But uh, the bars do go up as I do things, so the orange one in this case is the ploughing. How ploughed it is, I, I, I'm ploughing it. it it's, it's going to get better. Uh, but as for the others, it, I mean, at the moment, it just doesn't matter. Again, whether that's a mechanic that will involve my farm helpers helping me out and, uh, and the workers and whatever they're doing, and I, unfortunately, I just can't tell you. Um, and again, to do with kind of this day-night cycle, I have worked through many a night with no difference other than I've had to turn my lights on a little bit to check that I'm not going too horrifically wonky. Look, see, I can, I can plow neater. I just, I just failed at the beginning, okay? I, I personally, as someone who prefers action and shooter games, obviously this, this wouldn't normally appeal to me and, and wouldn't be something I would normally pick up. However, I'm absolutely thrilled that Sudesco, the uh, developers of the game, have given me the chance to experience this because I have actually really quite enjoyed my time with the game. There are weather mechanics, um, they, they come and go incredibly quickly uh, and quite abruptly just like the music does. There are 15 achievements um, and they require, the first two I got quite easily, the rest will require many, many hours of playing. So if you're an achievement hunter, this is a truly atrocious game to power through and get achievements as quick as possible. If you're intrigued, if you've been tempted to even think about getting this game, I, I would say give it a go. I mean, it, it, it's it's fine.
Is it a great game? I'm not so sure. Because I just don't normally play these kinds of games. Oh my god, can we go in here? This will, this will be my ultimate ending of a video. I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, no, I'm not. There we go, guys. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Till next time. Oh, no. No, we just... We just still go around and see it.